This video demonstrates the installation of the QuickFuse SC connector on 900 micron fiber using the QuickFuse toolkit with QuickFuse installer. The following tools will be used in this video. Kevlar shears, fiber stripper, fiber optic cleaning fluid, lint-free cleaning wipes, fiber holder, cleaver, and the QuickFuse installer. Here you can see an overview of the components in the connector kit. To start the process, slide the rear body onto the fiber. Then slide the protective sleeve with spring onto the fiber. Use the fiber holder as a guide to determine the strip length. Strip the 900 micron buffer using the middle notch and the strippers. Use multiple passes to avoid breaking the fiber. Then strip the 250 micron primary coating using the notch closest to the handles. Clean the fiber with a lint-free wipe moistened with fiber optic cleaning fluid. Load the fiber into the QuickFuse Tight Buffer Fiber Holder. Make sure the buffer is flush with the end of the fiber holder. Push the carriage wheel to its starting point. Place the fiber holder in the cleaver. Make sure it is all the way forward. Push down on the cleaver lid to cleave the fiber. Power on the quick fuse installer. Open the heater lid. Then open the wind protector. Place the fiber holder over the two pins on the left side of the installer. Make sure the fiber lays in the bottom of the blue V-groove next to the electrodes. Open the ferrule subassembly package. Make sure to never touch the fiber. Use the white handle to move the ferrule subassembly into the installer. Then close the ferrule holder lid. Gently close the wind protector, being careful not to pinch the fiber. The splice program starts automatically. The installer will beep and display pass when complete. Open the wind protector. Slide the protective sleeve and spring up to the fiber clamp. Open the left clamp, then the right. While keeping tension on the splice, remove it from the clamps and slide the protective sleeve over the fiber until it covers the smaller diameter on the ferrule hub. The protective sleeve should cover the smaller diameter of the ferrule hub not the larger diameter. While keeping tension on the splice, place the assembly in the heater with the protective tube at the center. Place the right side first, then the left. Make sure the protective sleeve does not move. The heater lid will close when the assembly hits the bottom of the heater. The heating cycle starts automatically when the lid closes. The heating cycle is complete when the red light goes out over the heater button. Open the heater lid and remove the assembly. Inspect the placement of the protective sleeve on the hub to verify the sleeve uniformly covers the smaller diameter of the hub. Slide the housing over the ferrule hub. For APC connectors, make sure the red dot on the ferrule hub aligns with the latch on the connector. Slide the rear body over the protective sleeve. Push the housing into the rear body until they latch together. Align the outer housing with the inner housing and slide it into place. The red triangle on the inner housing aligns with the key on the outer housing. Cut the plastic handle from the dust cap to complete the connector installation.